Hey, y'all. Hey. So I got a request from my girl, Brooklyn. Miss Brooklyn. Miss Brooklyn in the house. Hey, if you see a shout her out. No, I'm just playing. I just made that up, but that's for you, girl. Anyway, so get to get to what y'all came here for, and that's these two. So, y'all, I have never focused on the dates on the starches until I seen Love and Do It. So, I got this from Love and um, 912. So, this one I found on the shelf was... Uh, is it upside down, y'all? <laughs> Let me see. This one I found on the shelf is dated and it, it looks backward to me, but hopefully y'all can see it for January 25. And I... So, the other box... I, where did I get this from? This must be one of the boxes that Cherie sent me because I moved out my old starch to the front. So this got to be one that Cherie sent me. Well, that's good because the um, box I ordered, y'all, is 23. So anyway, let's try it. So Miss Brooklyn um, wanted me to try it. She wanted me to do a comparison. I'm not good at it, but I do know when I open this one, y'all, when I opened this one, I was so shocked. I was like, what is thick just like the box? Yep. That other one tasted like seasoning. I had to scent it, y'all. Yeah, I can't believe how thick this is. Can y'all see that? I can't believe it. Let's see. Mm. Mm. Y'all, I will be sensing that. Because it tastes like... Mm -hmm. But the texture is almost thick as this. But, but the taste I'm not really rocking with, you know? I'm not really rocking with the taste because of where it's situated. So, this is the bomb right here. Mm. Now, my regulars know I don't do the squeaky. And like some people put it in their mouth and they squeaky for y'all. I'm sorry, you're not going to get that over here. Because I, I don't care for it too much. But this still my number one, y'all. Like my go-to, even if I don't have a press brick, I'm always, this is it. Like Chestnut Hill. I used to try to eat it, but Clover Valley was my number one. It's it's changing their taste, but this one been consistent for me. Only thing is it always kind of tastes like the store I get it from, so I always have to end up sitting it, but so if you want to squeak or you want to swallow, you're not going to get it over here. I'm sorry.
Even then, that was too much. I can't, I don't like when they try to force this way down the back of my throat. So I don't like a lot of starch in my mouth at one time. Cause you're still number one. <laughs> it's good, it'll do. Cause I didn't have this. Yeah, it'll do. Cause I didn't have this. And I'm going to send it. And I will be eating it. I'll try not to make um, chunks that often cause I don't like, I don't like ruining my, yeah, I'm annoyed. They sent out, a, my daughter sent me a message that they, um, now, I work from home, I'm on lunch right now, and my daughter sent me this, um, she sent me this message where somebody reported this morning that their child was walking to school and some man was following them in a, a yellow raincoat, and then her daughter ended up running back home and telling her about it, and when she went outside to walk her son to the bus, there was the man was walking down the street and she thought that he had taken off his coat and put it in his backpack and changed clothes because the daughter said yeah that was him but then um she as her son bus was leaving she saw a truck following behind it was a man with a yellow raincoat on and the man who had just walked by her house was stooping trying to stoop down in the truck so that she wouldn't see him and so, girl, I've been, I've been there, y'all, I've been nervous. I'm sitting here with the door open because I don't like to feel closed in when I'm at work, unless I'm at the office. It's different. And so, every time my, my screen door, the latch has been broken. And so, sometimes I tie it up because the wind will pull it open. And I'll be sitting here, y'all, with my, <laughs> with my little mini dress on. <laughs> and get up and, and your butt might be out but and y'all gotta go to the door and shut it but anyway let me quit let me be quiet um and uh every time the door open i'm thinking somebody finna come in because i'm ready and you come running up in here i'm talking about so much stuff for to be thrown at that person like you ain't finna make it past the front threshold it's going down and i'm here by myself too but uh, I usually had a back door open, but I don't want, you know, no situations going on behind me. So it's like I'm coming at it frontal and I'm loaded over here. I'm talking about the, the, the tape, the tape holder, everything I could throw on this desk that's heavy. He going to get hit with it if they try to run up in here. And then plus, if I'm paying attention, I can see all angles anyway. And then you really can't, you really don't know my screen. My door is wide open because I got these bushes that I've been meaning to trim for the whole summer and still didn't do it. Um, so you really can't tell if my door is open, but just in case somebody been scoping me and they run up in here, oh, it's going to go down. I'm telling you, everything's going to get thrown at them. But anyway, this video is super long. I'm probably going to cut this and put it in the beginning because I know a lot of people don't want to hear me talk and a lot of people don't want to see me open the box, all that good thing. So I still have two more videos that I have to do. I just end up doing the um, My Fave versus Sharif. Cherie's fave. I end up doing that one first because I didn't have anything to cover it up. And a little background. So I've only been eating starch and it's funny um I was gonna tell the story during this review um I've only been eating starch by accident that's why I try to tell people you know if you never had it before don't try it 
um, because especially if you have low iron, you will start to, you know, crave it. And then it becomes like um, a, a situation where it's like, for me, I can't speak for nobody else, but for me, um, I gotta have it at least three times a day. So I'm chewing it. I do not, I do not swallow. I don't swallow. I don't like the wet texture. So I don't do wet chunks. I don't do, I mean, water chunks. I don't do boiled. Um, um, I do baked. Um, I don't make them a lot myself. Um, I really, really like the pressed bricks. Um, and then I'm a just a powder girl like this has come to be my favorite and when I first started um, I tried clever girl and the canned starches were my craving and I fell in love with great value because of the thickness and the texture of it but it's changed you know since I started eating it and it's been maybe about four years so i don't know what it tastes like and it's funny that i was going to say this and then i was watching loving the other day she was doing like a review on the different starches that she had and she was saying how some of the new age you know starch lovers don't know how it was to eat the starch back then and i'm like yeah because i'm one of them new ones you know like i had a love for clover valley and uh chestnut hill but um since over time they've all changed and then like i tried cream and i guess it's a mental thing with me with the cream starch because um with the cream starch it seemed like my face started breaking out like right up in here all around my mouth and all of this when i ate it so i don't know if it's a mental thing because i feel like it's been sitting in the warehouse and you know you watch those little videos on facebook and instagram and they say how you know people got ill from eating certain things not washing off their canned goods and you know animals urinate that's in the warehouse on different products and stuff like that so that made me feel like omg so something happened to the starch because it's not in the bag I mentally think about, oh my gosh, you know, something happened and I probably got, <laughs> I got, probably got the pea stash and y'all, it, it just freaks me out. So I don't eat cream, clap girl. And this one right here is my favorite. They that, like this one and then clap girl comes, um, it comes. So this one comes first. It's my first choice. Then Clapper Girl in a can. And then I would say, now everybody has this love for, love for Kingsford. And every time I get it, it's kind of squeaky. And depending on where I get it from, it has like a different type of taste to it. And it's always squeaky. So I'm just like, I don't know. You know, everybody got this love. For, now, I don't know offense. You know, I ain't trying to offend nobody about what they like and what they got going on. Because that's that's your situation but i'm talking about my experience um i don't really um uh, get the hype about kings for it because i'm new you know what i'm saying my stuff have happened by accident i did a video um i was in the mukbang community and i had a mukbang channel and we all had a support group and excuse me we all had a support group and then that support group everybody did different things and so what we would do is we would watch each other's uh videos make sure when we uh go live that we all would go you know be in each other's lives we would schedule lives you know according to each other and then we make sure that we show up and be present and sit there no matter how long that person was in and we would keep communication going we would invite other people um, we would share each other's channel. We would do challenges together to kind of, you know, if one person was under their watch time, you know, we would try to assist them in getting their watch time and all of that. And we started doing different challenges for each other. And I end up doing a, a tribute video. Was well, not a tribute because she's not passed away, but I did a video. Um, for one of the people in my group and y'all i sh i think i started with this one i started with this one and um what happened was um i tried it and then i tried to cook it 
And then I tried it again. And next thing you know, y'all, I was buying that stuff and I was chewing on it. My son came in the room one day and he was like, girl, now you got one more thing that I gotta be worried about. You already chewing on this bag of ice. Like I needed a bag of ice like every three days and it had to be a certain kind of ice. Like everybody liked the little pebbles and the crushed ice and all. No, it's this one ice company. They make these like chunks of ice. It's like, like you just took a, a piece of, uh, took some water, froze it in a flat pan and just broke it, y'all. But it's so, it, and it's a cloudy. My manager told uh, one of my coworkers, he said, if your ice is cloudy, that means it's contaminated. But that contaminated ice is bomb to me, y'all hear me? But anyway, um, he was like, now that's just one more habit you got to add on. I already got to carry this heavy ice from the store to bring you ice and blah, 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 blah. And now you're going to want me to go get cornstarch. And so um, I was like, no, nah, I'm not. You know, it's not that I'm just doing it for a video. Then I just kept getting it and getting it. Then I started uh, getting requests to try different brands. And then I started watching, getting recommendations from different videos. And I'm like, oh, they try. Oh, let me see what that's like. Oh, let me try that. Let me. And then I did my first order on Etsy. It was like 70 something dollars. And one of the ladies in the mukbang community was like, girl, my storage only costs a dollar. And you around here buying storage for $77. You tripping, you tripping. You better eat that box of dollar storage and, and get them people to watch your videos. And I'm just like, girl, I want to see what this is out here. So I never really cared for tapioca. I'm not really a, a arrowroot. I haven't tried a brand of arrowroot that I really like. Um, I... Uh, the cuts of root, the little things that people be eating. I'm like, I buy, I usually buy those just to do a video. I used to, but I don't normally go to my storage spot that often. So I don't get them that often. But every time I go, I'll get at least one container and it'd be lasting me about four, five, you know, six months. And uh, so that's a little backstory on me. Um, I started eating by accident. It's only been about four, you know, four years since I started. Um, this is now my third channel. Um, I do, I can monetize, but I don't because they only give me a certain amount of ads that I can use in the video. So I just really come on here, pop in and do videos for those that want to see me. Um, a lot of times people do want to hear me talk and some people don't want to hear me talk. Um, it's a mixture. So I do come in and do that. And this video is for those that are wanting to know me better. You know what I'm saying? That has questions. Um, I get a lot of people asking me to saying that I'm trying to fool people because I don't. So I never told anybody that I swallow. I never said that. So I don't know. You come watch one video and you think, you know, everything about a person. And so, but the people that's been rocking with me know that my Piper is I chew it until it becomes crumbly in my mouth and then I release it. You know, I don't swallow. Um, now I have been known to swallow if it's like a sweet starch. And then like sometimes when I'm cleaning my mouth, I do realize that some of it does go down my throat. And I don't know why some people, when you say you don't swallow, people try to tell you, well, you do swallow because when even if you, you don't, it's a little bit go down your throat. Oh, well, but I don't intentionally swallow is what I'm trying to say. Like, I'm not sitting here swallowing. So if you want that, you have to find you another channel that does do that. And I know um, Miss Brooklyn, I know she swallows. I know Loving swallows. Um, who else? I, I don't even know, but I've seen a few. Dang, I can't even think of her name right now. I've seen a few videos of this one young lady. Uh, and I like her content, but I can't think of her name. Uh, they've been out of this brand on the spot where I ordered from. That was a good price. It was only $40 to get it, you know, for this, for 24 of these and plus shipping, which is $19.95. And so for me, $19.95 is pretty good for shipping because the place where I go to get my storage is so far from my house. I'll still end up paying $20 to drive there. Well, to get somebody to take me there. I'll still end up paying $20. Now, I could come out cheap if I took the bus. But y'all, carrying storage home on the bus 
OMG, like I done had some times where I done went exploring and I have gotten home, got off work at five and didn't get home till about 10 o'clock at night because the bus ride was just so long. And so uh, with me not having my own transportation, it's kind of, you know, pricey to do. Well, not really pricey, but a strain. Um, my, my friend was like, you better get you one of them carts. You be seeing the people, the older people on the bus with. She tried to, uh, she gonna send me, she looked on Facebook Marketplace, y'all. She tried to send me, uh, the little carts when she see them on sale and stuff. She'll send me the information about the cart. <laughs> like, girl, I'm not for the, this not for the be no regular, but back then I wanted to try different stuff. And so I would do, you know, do what I had to do. My, all my kids old is like, you know, on a Thursday when I don't have nothing to do, I'll just go explore. I work from home. I'm on lunch right now. And my daughter sent me this, um, she sent me this message where somebody reported this morning that their child was walking to school and some man was following them in a, a yellow raincoat. And then her daughter ended up running back home and telling her about it. And when she went outside to walk her son to the bus, there was the man was walking down the street and she thought that he had taken off his coat and put it in his backpack and changed clothes because the daughter said, yeah, that was him. But then... um she as her son bus was leaving she saw a truck following behind it was a man with a yellow raincoat on and the man who had just walked by her house was stooping trying to stoop down in the truck so that she wouldn't see him and so grabbing i've been there y'all i've been nervous i'm sitting here with the door open because i don't like to feel closed in when i'm at work unless i'm at the office it's different and so every time my, my screen door the latch has been broken and so sometimes i tie it up because the wind will pull it open and i'll be sitting here y'all with my <laughs> with my little mini dress on <laughs> and get up and, and your butt might be out but and y'all gotta go to the door and shut it but anyway let me quit let me be quiet um and uh, every time the door open, I'm thinking somebody finna come in because I'm ready. And you come running up in here. I'm talking about so much stuff for to be thrown at that person. Like, you ain't finna make it past the front threshold. It's going down. And I'm here by myself, too. But uh, I usually had a back door open. But I don't want, you know, no situations going on behind me. So it's like I'm coming at it frontal. And I'm loaded over here. I'm talking about the... Uh, the the tape the tape holder everything i could throw on this desk that's heavy he gonna get hit with it if they try to run up in here and then plus if i'm paying attention i can see all angles anyway and then you really can't you really don't know my screen my door is wide open because i got these bushes that i've been meaning to trim for the whole summer and still didn't do it um so you really can't tell if my door is open but just in case somebody been scoping me and they run up in her, oh, it's gonna go down. I'm telling you, everything's gonna get thrown at them. But anyway, this video is super long. I'm probably gonna cut this and put it in the beginning because I know a lot of people don't wanna hear me talk and a lot of people don't wanna see me open the box, all that good thing. So I still have two more videos that I have to do. I just end up doing the um, My Fave versus Sharif. Cherie's fave. I end up doing that one first because